Welcome to Power Code Music. In today's presentation, we are going to talk about the Zoom Live Track model series and the differences between each model. So, the Zoom Live Track series consists of four different models, and those models are the L8, the L12, the L20, and the L20R rack mount unit. Zoom's L series are digital consoles that offer virtually everything you need to record, mix, monitor, and produce your own music. Now we know that the L series consists of four different models, and it is the direct competitor to Tascam's model series line of products. Now first, we are going to analyze the features of each L series model in order to see what they have to offer. Now afterwards, we're going to compare each L series model's features to one another to see what makes them different. And we're also, along with this, going to look at what groups they are best designed to work for. So, grab your coffee, your tea, sit back and relax. We have a lot to cover and you are not going to want to miss it. So stay with me. Let's start with the flagship or the standard of the L series, which is the Zoom L20 and the Zoom L20R. At approximately $999 retail, these units combine a digital mixer with a total of 20 input channels, that is 16 mono and 2 stereo, along with a multi-track recorder that can simultaneously record up to 22 tracks and a 22 in and 4 out USB digital audio interface. You can mix down your songs on the unit or you can transfer them over to a digital audio workstation to complete later. Now this unit is also designed to be a mobile recording solution for large groups or bands and it includes functionality for both live performances as well as studio recordings. Now you can see up front that the main difference between the L20 and the L20R is that the L20R is a smaller rack mount unit without the surface area of the L20. The L20R is also compatible with, with Zoom's remote mixer app, allowing others to take command of their own mix via an iPad. Now the L20 also has this functionality as well. Let's look at the channel input section to get a better understanding of how the L20 and most of the rest of the L series is set up. So we're going to ride the bus. First at the bus stop is the mic line inputs. As you can see, these are combo jacks. And next we have the 48V switch, which turns the phantom power on and off. Next on the bus stop, is the high Z switch. This switches the mic impedance. What follows then is the pad switch, which attenuates, or should I say reduces the input signal of the equipment connected to the mic line input jack by 26 decibels. Next on the bus stop, we have the gain knobs. They adjust the input of the mic preamps. What follows is the SIG indicator. Now the SIG indicator, this shows the signal level after adjustment by the gain knob. Next on the bus stop, we have the comp knob. Now this adjusts the amount of compression on the channel. Next we have the select button. This is used to select a channel for parameter adjustment in the channel strip section. Next on the bus stop, we have the record play button. Now you use this button to switch between the recording input signals to the SD card and playback an already recorded file from the SD card. Next on the bus stop, we have the mute button. Of course, this mutes and unmutes the channel. Pretty straightforward. Next, we have the solo button. Now the solo button, when it's on, 
the pre-fader signal can be heard from the phone's jack. Last but not least on the bus stop, we have the channel fader and level meters. Let's analyze the features of the Zoom L20. Now, first and foremost, it's important to understand that the Zoom L20 is again the flagship model for the L series. So this model has everything and it is the standard. Now, all the rest of the L series models that we're going to look at after this will have less features. So keep that in mind as we go through the features for the Zoom L20. The unit has 20 channels, which of course is 16 mono and two stereo with combo jacks. It has 22 track simultaneous recording and 20 track playback. It's 22 in and four out USB uh, audio interface connectivity and records up to 24 bit and 96 KHC audio to SD. We got our 48V phantom power and our 8Z connectivity. We got 26 decibel pad for channels 3 through 16. We also have built in compression control, which is pretty cool, and solo buttons for each individual channel. We have variable frequency low cut control and main outputs for six customizable monitor outputs. We have a dedicated output for the sound engineer. Again, this is the top of the line unit, so we have everything. It has a scene saving function for up to nine save scenes at a time and 20 built in uh, chorus delay and reverb effects with adjustable parameters and two effects buses. It has a built in slate mic. And of course, this device is compatible with your iOS or uh, Mac uh, device and is also compatible with Zoom's remote mixer app for the iPad. It has automatic recording for start and stop and a pre-record function. You can import and export projects with the USB uh, connectivity and also you have compatible functions for Zoom's foot switch along with automatic power save functions. Next on the list, we'll take a look at the model in the middle, which is the Zoom L12. The L12 and the L20 both function basically the same way. However, the L12 mixer brings the flagship L20's recording and mixing features and functionalities to a more compact platform that's lower in price. The unit retails for approximately $649. The L12 is designed also to be a mobile recording solution for smaller bands, groups, and solo recording artists that are on location live or recording at home in the studio. Let's jump into the features of the Zoom L12 and see what's different from the L20 and the L8. All of the features in this list that have an asterisk are what makes the Zoom L12 unique and different from the L20 and the L8. The Zoom L12 has 12 channels, which are eight mono plus two stereo. We have 14 track simultaneous recording. We have 14 in and four out uh, audio interface connectivity and five powered headphone outputs. You can add uh, backing and click tracks from your computer to your live mix and your recording. We have RCA and TRS line inputs, combo jacks, and 48V phantom power. We have 26 decibel pads, channels 3 through 8, and built-in compression control. Now again, we have different channel assignments for the Zoom L12 because it's a smaller mixer and the channel assignments for the features are different. We have digital level meters, on the unit as well, which are minus 48 dB to 0 dB. We have master mute button on this unit, a master mute button as opposed to a separate mute button for each channel on the L20. That's significantly different. And we also have a low cut control. The Zoom L12 features a master and monitor outputs, which are A through E. Also has scene saving functions, which you can save up to nine scenes at a time. We have 16 built-in delay and reverb effects with adjustment parameters, that's different as well, and built-in slate mic, and it is also compatible with your Mac iOS device. We have SD card input as well as a built-in metronome, and automatic record 
or should I say recording functionality that covers both starting and stopping. You can also protect your projects on this device as well as the L20 and import and export projects with USB 2.0 connectivity. A latency adjustment for A to D conversion. I believe you can do this on the L20 as well. That might be an error there. And last but not least, you have compatible functions for the Zoom foot switch as well. Finally, let's move on to the smallest product in the L series line, which is the Zoom L8. L8 is designed more for podcasters, interviewers, and radio DJs. You can even use the USB to connect and route audio from Skype, Hangouts, FaceTime, and other types of apps. Naturally, you can also record your music demos and other small projects on the unit. The L8 retails for approximately $449. Let's check out the features of the L8 and see what's different from the L12 and the L20. All of the features in the Zoom L8 feature list that has an asterisk in front of it are what make the L8 unique and different from the L12 and the L20. So keep that in mind as we go through the feature list for the Zoom L8. First and foremost, the L8 has no onboard effects. The unit is an 8-channel mixer with 12-track simultaneous recording. It has a mix-minus function, preventing audio feedback from dialing guests. The unit has a TRRS connection and included TRRS cable for telephone connectivity. Six assignable sound pads are also included with 13 preset sounds. The unit has four headphone outputs and a three-band EQ. It has seven scene memories for storing your mixes, and it is a 12-in, 4-out USB audio interface. It's also compliant with iOS for your Mac device. The unit is also battery operated with four AA batteries, or you can use a USB power supply. You can record up to 24-bit 96 KHC and record up to 48 KHC to a computer and SD card simultaneously. In summary, it's important to note that Zoom designed the L series to be digital mixers with exceptional preamps first and foremost to the rest of the features and functionality. The number of channels, tracks, and additional features on each L series product targets a specific group or the individual home studio user. For instance, the L20 is the larger and more established standard that is designed to record bands in large groups, both live and in the studio. However, the L12 serves this purpose as well, but for smaller bands and groups and the solo artist. The L8 targets podcasters, interviewers, radio DJs, and the individual home studio recording artists and the multimedia content producers. Lastly, the L12 and the L20 models leave the door open for users to use them as standalone digital hardware recorders, as well as in conjunction with digital audio workstations or DAWs. Well, that, my friends, is a wrap. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up and click the subscribe button on your screen now to join our group. We have new videos coming out every 7 to 10 days, and we would love to have you be a part of our team. Leave a comment in the comment section below and let us know what you think about this video. Also, while you're here, listen to some of the other music on the channel. Watch some of the other videos and the playlist especially. Let us know what you think about that too. Thank you so much for stopping by. We really do appreciate it, and we look forward to seeing you soon.